staying on top of that breaking news out of Nash County, the search for five inmates who managed to escape from the jail by breaking through a fence. These guys right here is still on tonight. The sheriff said tonight he believes they may have had some outside help. He showed our Colleen Quigley just how he believes the inmates got out, and she's live outside of the jail. Colleen. Yeah, Marius and Angela, the sheriff tonight saying that these inmates found a weakness in the infrastructure and exploited it. Specifically, what he's talking about is on the other side of this brick wall right here. That's the yard where the inmates were when they kicked an opening in the fence. And then I want to show you this on the other side here. This is the second of two doors that the sheriff believes they scaled before running out here during that escape. They're kicking it. They're seeing how it moves back and forth. This is the spot that five inmates slipped through Monday afternoon in the Nash County Jail before making their way through two doors and out to freedom. I think that there was help on the outside, uh, but we have the best of the best in law enforcement, and uh, I'm sure we'll capture these individuals. Nash County Sheriff Keith Stone says Raheem Horn, Laquarius Battle, David Rivette, and convicted sex offenders David Ruffin and Keontae Murphy were all in the exercise yard when they kicked the opening in the fence, which was repaired a few months ago. Stone says no guards were physically in the yard at the time of the escape. It's through a camera system. The camera system was off to another angle, and there was a area of a blind spot, and from there they went through the fence and went over. Stone says Highway Patrol, the FBI, U.S. Marshals, and other local agencies are all trying to track the inmates down. As soon as I got here, there was a sheriff right there just walking down the road with a gun, and I'm like, what's going on? Miranda Peel is visiting her dad, who lives near the jail, and called the entire situation scary. He was, like, freaking out a little bit, too, checking his truck, checking the stuff in the backyard. Sheriff Stone is asking everyone lock their cars and doors, and if they see someone suspicious, call the sheriff's office. The jail is where they were supposed to be, and that's where they need to be, and we're going to work that way to get them back in there. The sheriff also said this entire incident highlights uh, the need for some upgrades to this facility. Now, these five men were here for a variety of reasons, ranging from burglary to assault to heroin possession. Now, tonight, that manhunt very much still ongoing, so there is a $500 reward for information leading to each one of these inmates. Reporting live in Nash County, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.